So Devin, you're looking very relaxed. How's your preparation been? How are you feeling for the upcoming match against your man next to you? Perfect. Flawless. Crisp. I feel like never have I executed as well. I feel like um, in terms of health, uh, I feel like I'm 25 once again. Just Shit. <laughs> way bigger. Just a way bigger 25-year-old. I'm like schoolboy with the mind of a seasoned veteran. Wow. Yeah. That's impressive. It is impressive. <laughs> That's nice to hear. Michael, you're looking like you're ready to kill. Devin, on the other hand, a little bit relaxed. How do you feel about this match coming up? I'm as excited as I've been about any match. Um, what? I'm as excited as I've ever oh, been about any wasn't match. Clear. It yeah, yeah, like yeah. You stuttered a little bit. Yeah, so uh, I'm glad I get this healthy version of Devin, this strong version of Devin. It will make the victory that much sweeter. But um, yeah, I'm ready. You're ready? You're both ready, yeah? So who do you think is going to take the, um, let's say, the third match? The which match? The third match. That's this the is really, really that's the, an important the match, breaker. third match. Oh, the third match. Like, so this, this match. This I thought you meant match. the third match. Oh, that's what I thought you I'm like, I'm too. winning six zeros. <laughs> I just count me in for six all of them, you know. Zero. But well, uh, this, yeah. this one's the tiebreaker. So who, who do we think? Well, I, obviously my money's on me. Some dude just bet a lot of money on this guy. So. Do you think they're going to lose that money? I've, I've, I've had a call to arms to all my guys to make that man regret that bet. So. <laughs> It's funny, you know, Mike's the champ, he's been the champ for a long time, but still, people are betting more money on me. Only the what? one guy. You just, I've one guy. won every Doesn't single block. Doesn't matter whether block. it's one guy. <laughs> now, you Actually, are now. You listen, are if you now. want to count total batters, I got you beat there, too. Oh, yeah, I know. I you. got more people, I got bigger. Well, you had some dollar bets, two dollar bets, I mean. A lot of two dollar <laughs> bets. I got like a million two dollar <laughs> bets, yeah. No, I mean, I, I honestly, I feel like the underdog, even though I'm the champ, uh, which is a place that I like to be in. That's just a place that you are always in. You always feel like the underdog. I know. I is that from your childhood? I don't, I don't. I wasn't an underdog as a child. Did your mother? Was it your mom? No, she's really good. Was your dad? No, dad was cool too. Had a Where did you life. come from? Um, I just do better under pressure. I, and this is my fault because I picked you. And people are like, "Oh, Devin's weak. He's DVT. He's this. He's that." And I knew you'd be ready. So that's what makes me happy that this guy showed up. So that brings me to a question. We obviously had Levan in the lineup. Did you pick Devin because he's a weaker opponent? I picked Devin because he's, my, in my opinion, my most difficult opponent. That that's just because of who he is and what he brings to the table. Um, but yeah, so I honestly believe that I... I think, I think Mike was hoping for something and he's starting to regret it. I think, I think he knows I think better Michael, than that. I think, I think Michael he knows better than that. Does think that I'm his biggest threat, but he saw a golden opportunity to get me, and I think that he's a little bit surprised. Okay, so I, I don't think he actually means that. I, if he does, that's cool. I genuinely don't think he believes that. I picked Devin because I knew Devin could get ready. I knew Devin wanted this opportunity as much as I did and I'm excited that this is who I get. I want the strongest Devin. And let the best man win, which is going to be me. What's your prediction, Michael? What's your predictions on the six matches? Violence. Violence? Is it going to be 6-0? What, 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 what are we thinking? My, my intent is to 6-0 this guy. That may not happen, but uh, at the end of the day, I don't think he can run through me. And if he can't run through me, he can't beat me. What do we think, Devin? I, I don't think it'll be 6-0. I think that there's just a couple very key points that we're both fighting over. Arm wrestling is two very simple ideas, running away and coming forward. And whoever can control those two aspects is going to win. Uh, height is going to play a factor. Commitment is going to play a factor. And to me, this match is frightening. You know, it's one of those matches that I have nightmares about because I know how much Mike is bringing and I know how much I'm bringing. And I know the way when we come together, oh, 
it's going to be one of those times when you're just you're really happy because it's what you you seek out as an arm wrestler. It's it's what it's what you're it's what you're seeking as an athlete. You know these moments where you, it's all in. You know it's it's everything you can lose. I fucking you just can, got chills. You can you know, win, this but is exciting. that's that's what I expect. I expect us to have to reach new spiritual levels to to win the match. I think that the match will be decided deep deep in the trenches. I think that both of us will lose pieces that we hold and we're going to have to fight and uh, and I think I am going to win. I think it's going to be really close. I think there's going to be a few key moments where we have to decide if we want to break our arms or not. And I'm totally ready to go home in a stretcher. So, you spoke about this match being a commitment or running away. The controversy of the King's move, is that running away well, from the fight? Running away... It's I, just outside, it, inside arm wrestling. It doesn't... It running away does not have a negative connotation in my mind. It's just the process of fighting. You are either advancing or you're, you're taking a step back. And it's the same as in boxing or any sport or, or fight or combat. It's advance and retreat. And you're basically fighting over a center line. Um, but the, the, the art of retreat is just as powerful as the art of advance. But truthfully, you'll need to be able to do both. You'll need to be able to do both to win this match. People have asked me, do I expect Devin to do something different? Do I have something different in mind? We all know how to arm wrestle. We, both of us can do any technique. Um, the hand and wrist is going to determine a lot. Can, his, can he beat my hand and wrist? Can I beat his hand and wrist? Um, outside of that, everything else, we'll just see how it goes. But it, there's going to be a lot in the hand and wrist. There will be. Um, the fact that, like, I chose a bigger frame person than me, a longer levered person than me who has every bit of the skill that I have. And now we have the 290 pound version of that. So Levon, I would have loved to pull Levon. And in my mind, I'm ready to pull any man on earth, but he represents more challenges. That being said, I want to win 6-0. It may not happen. And if it doesn't, it's gonna be just like he said, it's gonna be a battle. And it'll come down to which one of us is and the thing, one, neither one of us back off. We've never backed off, ever. So it'll be a fight to the death. To the death. <laughs> to the death. So coming back to the promotion, what do you think the king of the table is going to do for the sport? We are emerging from the darkness, man. We have been underground for a, a year and a half. All the leagues have shut down. Dubai. Core Sports, Larry Wheels, you guys, you guys are, are the new fire. This is it. All eyes on Dubai. We got the biggest match. We got the most hyped matches. Uh, we got hope, staking. I mean, we, yeah. We, it, this is a historic event. It's a rebirth. It really is. Rebirth. It's a new uh, beginning for sure. Yeah, it's super exciting. I think that uh, this is a sign of things to come. Yeah. And I am so honored to be a part of it. Yes. It's, it's very exciting. It's, this is a blessing, man. It really is. I mean, the thing is, we're, we're friends. No, we, we're not. We've, we've been around a lot. We're not friends. Shut up. Tomorrow Mike, night. I'm going to kill you. Tomorrow I'm night. I'm going to kill you, Michael. We'll be violent. You remember that we're friends when you're dead on the ground. We'll he was be my violent. friend. <laughs> but it is, it is exciting to get to share this with him because I know what our journey's been like, you know what I'm saying? I know our contribution to this sport and to get to represent this sport that we love so much on this stage against the person that I've battled with over the years, and this is the trilogy. I don't think this is the last time we're gonna compete against each other. I don't think this is the last match, but this is probably the most important, you know? So, uh, it's, it's exciting, it's exciting. It's definitely exciting, and it's uh, a pleasure to have you two veterans a part of it. Do you have any last words? Anything you want, say it now. 
If you want to back out, now's your time. Oh, just stay safe, Mike. Just, you got a big <laughs> summer coming up. You got Rebecca to take care of. You got, don't hurt yourself, well, man. Well, don't you hurt yourself. Clearly, you must be my friend if you're this concerned about I, me. I, I do this for anybody. <laughs> not you. You're not special. I don't want to see anybody get hurt. Okay? All right. Just protect yourself at all times. All right. That is my responsibility. That right? is your responsibility. All right, cool. Yeah, I think we're good. <laughs>